I'm Travis Guillory. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works for You. More than five and a half million dollars in CARES Act money is making its way to Tulsa. That's to help students in the city have vital internet access. Governor Kevin Stitt and Mayor G.T. Bynum made that announcement yesterday. It's in a partnership with Tulsa Union and Jinx Public Schools along with Impact Tulsa. The city plans to bring internet to nearly 20,000 students who don't have it at home. TPS officials say that this is especially important as students begin the year with distance learning, but it could also help students' families too with working from home. We've got a breakdown of how those dollars are going to be spent on our website, KJRH.com. And looking ahead, Dr. Deborah Burks, a member of the White House Coronavirus Task Force, is coming to Oklahoma this weekend. Governor Kevin Stitt says Dr. Burks plans to come to Tulsa and look at one of the surge hospitals here. Mayor G.T. Bynum and Oklahoma City Mayor David Holt are going to be meeting with Dr. Burks along with several other state officials. And Sand Springs Public Schools have delayed the first day, now planning to begin on August 24th. The district is going to offer in-person, virtual, and blended options for students. Parents can request virtual enrollment for their child until Monday, August 17th. And Tulsa saying goodbye to the pedestrian bridge. In a special way, though, the River Parks Authority is going to be opening up the bridge for a short time this weekend to offer professional family photos before it gets taken down. Unfortunately, Saturday's ticket sold out within 24 hours, but you can find more information at riverparksauthority.org. Now let's get a look at that forecast with meteorologist Clint Boone. All right, thank you very much, Travis. Well, radar indicates that we have already received over six inches of rain across portions of Delaware County this morning, heading throughout northwestern Adair County. We have picked up anywhere from five to six inches of rain, so a lot of rain in a short amount of time. Temperatures this morning have been in the 70s. Forecast for today, calling for temperatures in the low to mid-90s with a heat index over 105.